Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today is November 19, 2023, and today is the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year A. Our Gospel for today is from the beautiful and the wonderful account of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. Today is the last Sunday before the solemnity of the Christ, the King Sunday. And we are now approaching towards the conclusion of the liturgical year. Because after the Christ, the King Sunday, we're going to start another beautiful season in the church, and that is the season of Advent. Our gospel for today, it tells us about the, the famous uh, parable of tenants. The parable teaches us that success is always a product of hard work. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, when you are hardworking, God will always give you what you need to fulfill your dreams and aspirations in life. But what is interesting to note in today's gospel is this. All the gifts that we possess is not ours. All that we have is not ours. All talents came from our master we are just stewards and we work for the master not for ourselves what we have is for god's purpose as saint ignatius of loyola once said we do it for the glory of god now what can we learn from today's readings first since we are stewards, as what I mentioned it earlier, we should imitate the character, the behavior of this wife mentioned in the book of Proverbs in our first reading for today. Because this wife mentioned, she is not lazy. You know, she worked with diligence and there is an energy and joy to serve. Like this wife we too challenge to extend our arms to the poor, to the needy. And my dear friends, charity, it's, it, it's not an exclusive event. It's not exclusive to the family. You know, they're saying charity begins at home. Yeah, I, I, I accept that. But charity begins at home, but it should not end there. We, we should extend the, the borders of charity because charity has no borders, has no limit. Unlike this wife, we need to serve the Lord out of love. Productivity is achieved. Fruitfulness is achieved. Not through charm, not through beauty, but out of fear of the Lord. And our second reading reminded us that our image should be an image of light not an image of darkness. St. Paul in his letter to the Thessalonians says, you are not in the dark. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, I say it loud and clear. You are not in the dark. God wants us to be fruitful. Therefore, always live in the light. Always choose light. Never be lazy. When you're working, refrain from sleeping. St. Paul at the end of our second reading says, Let us not fall asleep as others do, but let us keep awake and sober. You know, slave number one and slave number two in today's gospel, they got the 100% return of uh, their investment because they never waste their time. Living in darkness is a waste of time. There is no opportunity in the dark. There is no progress. There is no success in the dark. Sleeping is a matter of wasting our potentials. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, Pope, I remember Pope Francis once said, Don't be lazy because there is no holiness in laziness. And our gospel is reminding us of this beautiful truth. And what's the truth? that we are not equals in terms of gifts. We are not equals in terms of talents and skills. 
Some of us were entrusted with more, others entrusted with less. Some were talented, others were not, right? We are not equals in terms of talents, but we are equal in terms of efforts. Whatever talents we have, small or big, little or great, had an effort to, to develop it. You know, whatever you can develop, maximize it. Talents are not meant to be, uh, uh, talents are not meant to be thrown, but it is meant to be shown. So don't waste it by simply hiding it or burying it like the third servant or slave did. And the third, the third servant, you know, he, he hides his talent because he was afraid. And you know, it was not out of love for the master, but out of fear. My dear friends, it's good to ask ourselves this Sunday, what is your view of God? What is your idea of God? When you do things out of fear, or when we do things out of fear, we will not be productive. We will not be fruitful. We will not be successful. That's why do things out of love, not out of fear. Because when we do things out of love, God will reward us and He will say to us, Come and share your master's joy. If you love and like this reflection, kindly share it with your friends so that many will be blessed. Amen.